People think of the past and sometimes they can't go over something they've seen and it really makes an impression on their daily life and how they think. If someone has a bad past or memory, then to them it might be important that they forget about it, but they will always know how much it hurts. I want my work to be about remembering these things and how it affects them and maybe how they deal with it in front of people. Everyone has something that holds them back in life, whether it be a fear of spiders, a mental illness, or a feel of emotional connection because of an incident that has happened to them in the past. Some people deal with these issues really well and it doesn't affect them to a large extent. But some people have a really difficult time processing all that information. And it's like a block in the head that they just can't get over, and it can really make an impression with their whole life. It's strange how such a quick or simple thing can change someone's life forever, or such a large and extravagant thing can only have such little and impermanent damage. That's not always the case, but it still shows how important your actions can be in someone else's life, and how much it can mess with someone's life. If someone has had these life impressioning issues that they can't get over, people tend to tell them, just get over it. But in reality, they have no idea how hard it is, or what that person is going through. Some people handle things in different ways, and need different types of help when trying to deal with it. When people get sick, sometimes it's to do with their way of thinking, and how they cope with their feelings mentally. Illness is not always to do with a physical deformation, it can be a mental issue, and a lot of people can't accept that, and don't understand how it can diminish someone's life. You don't understand an illness until you've had it, and that's what people typically forget. But that's okay. I mean, how do you expect someone who's never experienced something to be able to understand it and feel that person's pain? But at the same time, you want people to accept it, and it helps you deal with your issues. It's not easy to tell someone you have a mental illness, and it can be even harder if it's an illness that prevents you from expressing thoughts and feelings verbally. If you don't know what to say out loud, then it can be even more difficult to sort those thoughts inside your head. Some mental illnesses can be overcome within time and with the right help. There are others that people just can't help having, and it's no one's fault that they're ill. So why do we treat people as if it is? You can go up to someone with a terminal illness, like cancer, and just tell them to get over it. So why do we tell people with illnesses like depression and anxiety to be happy, stop worrying, and get over it? In my opinion, it's not right. So if you ever see someone struggling or looking down one day, just smile and pull a funny face. Make them laugh. Who knows, you might have just saved that person's life.